Hello everyone! In this video I will show you the way how to fire bullets in different direction and how to create this simple shell extraction feature. Scripts will be available by the link in the description. Also, I'd like to give a bunch of thanks to Jason from Unity3D.College for giving me a clue how to implement such features. Ok, here is my cat as a parent game object with a rifle as a child. Rifle game object also have a couple of children, which are shell extractor and barrel. They both are just empty game objects with color icon attached. Shell extractor is rotated, so its green axis directed upwards from the rifle. Barrel game object is rotated, so its Y axis directed along the barrel. Let's take a look at cat control script attached to cat game object. Here we have some variables to control cat's movement, to rotate a rifle game object and to control cat's facing appearance. In update method we get arrow left and right buttons input. Check if rifle needs to be rotated up and restrict cat's movement so it will not be able to go off the screen. In fixed update method we pass a velocity to cat's game object. In late update method we change cat's local scale so its face towards it moves. In check if rifle up method we rotate a rifle in Z axis by 45 degrees if up arrow is pressed multiplied by a local scale X value so rifle is turned up either cats go to the left or to the right. Here in cat control script component rifle game object should be dragged and drop into rifle slot. Like that. Let's take a look at rifle game object. It has two scripts attached. Shell extractor script and barrel script. Here is shell extractor script. Here we have shell extractor transform reference, shell rigid body 2D reference and a couple of variables to randomly calculate extraction force and torque for each shell spawned. So if we hit fire button, then force and torque is calculated. And then new shell is instantiated at shell extractor position with its rotation, with random force and torque applied to its rigid body to the component. This script component requires shell extractor game object to be dragged and drop into corresponding slot. And shell prefab should be created and dragged and drop into shell slot. Shell prefab is a game object with rigid body to the component with gravity scale set to 2. Also, it has a script that destroys its game object in definite amount of times. In one second in this case. Here is destroy in time script. Rifle barrel script is as nearly the same as shell extractor script. Here it is. Here is barrel transform and bullet rigid body variables and bullet fire speed variable. So when fire button is hit, then bullet is instantiated at barrel position with its rotation and force applied to bullet's rigid body component according to fire speed. Actually fire speed should be named as bullet speed. Ok. Barrel script needs a barrel game object to be dragged and dropped into corresponding slot. And it needs a bullet prefab which is a game object with box collider to hit monsters and rigid body to the component with gravity scale set to zero and collision detection set to continuous. And it has destroy in time script attached to be destroyed in two seconds to clean the scene up. Bullet prefab should be dragged and dropped into bullet slot. So when shot is fired, 
shell is instantiated and goes along the green axis from shell extractor. And bullet is instantiated and goes along the green axis from the barrel. That's it. Hope this tutorial will be useful for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.